President Biden is set to host his Israeli counterpart at the White House later this morning. Yesterday, the Israeli president met with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The visit comes amid a surge in violence in the occupied West Bank. More than 100 Palestinians have been killed this year following a series of raids and crackdowns by Israeli forces. NBC News senior digital White House reporter Shannon Pettypiece joins us now with more on this. So, Shannon, good morning. First of all, what's on the agenda for today's meeting? Well, certainly no shortage of issues for these two leaders to talk about. Um, there was a recent uh, deal brokered by the U.S. Uh, between Israel and Lebanon over a maritime border. Uh, it involves also uh, some natural gas resources there. That's something that's been a big deal in Israel. Uh, expect the White House to bring that up and to be touting that as well. Certainly more broadly, the ongoing war in Ukraine is going to be a topic of discussion. Uh, there has been reports, obviously, recently about Russian drones, I'm sorry, Iranian drones being supplied to Russia and those attacking Ukraine. That is something that President Herzog brought up in a meeting with the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, pressuring the U.S. to, to up the uh, pressure on Iran to respond to that. But here's a little bit more of what White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre had to say about the upcoming visit. The two leaders will consult on a range of regional and global challenges of mutual concern, including the threat posed by Iran and its proxies. They will also discuss the forthcoming conclusion of a historic agreement resolving the maritime boundary dispute between Israel and Lebanon mediated by the United States. President Biden will also underscore his commitment to advancing peace and stability in the Middle East and beyond by deepening Israel's regional integration and normalization with the Arab world. And they will discuss ways to promote equal measures of freedom, prosperity, and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. And certainly it'll be an opportunity again for these two leaders to show the close alliance and support for one another between the U.S. and Israel. And Shannon, Ukraine has criticized Israel for its lack of support in the war with Russia. I mean, just yesterday, President Zelensky called on Israel again to share its air defense systems, but so far it's refused to do so. Do you think we could see the Biden administration put pressure on Israel to do more on that front? Yeah, and that was some very strong criticism from President Zelensky. Um, obviously, this was an issue the president uh, brought up back in July when he was meeting with Israeli officials in Israel. Um, you know, so far, the Israelis have been providing humanitarian support. They've been providing life-saving equipment like helmets and bulletproof vests. Uh, they have not wanted to provide anything like air defense systems or uh, defensive mm. weapons. You know, the belief being that Israel's concerned it could disrupt their relationship with Russia when it comes to Syria being one of the key national security concerns in their region. The U.S., however, though, has made it very clear their belief uh, that allies and the U.S. and if their NATO partners need to do everything they can to support Ukraine in this. I wouldn't be surprised if that was raised by the president again, but certainly mm. the White House, the president, are aware of the position that Israel is in here and trying to balance their own regional security concerns as well. And Shannon, quickly on this last point, this meeting comes less than a week before Israel's fifth election in four years. Well, of course, our midterms are less than two weeks away. So why is the meeting happening now? Well, you know, the White House and the Israeli officials address this as well, saying that you know, it's an effort to show that the relationship between the U.S. and Israel goes beyond politics. And whichever mm. party is in control, uh, it, these two countries will remain aligned and committed to each other's security. Of course, the optics are a bit questionable here, but yeah, I will say President Herzog uh, is not on the ballot. Uh, if certainly the Prime Minister um, Lapid was going to be at the White House, that would have a much different optic and dynamic. Uh, President Herzog has more of a ceremonial role, um, you know, but it could give uh, you know, some efforts in Israel a little bit of a, a bump here to see uh, the U.S. president sitting down with a certainly the Israeli president, very, very high prominent official in the country. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.